You are now tuning in to Discover Your Potential with radio talk show host Dan Gilman, Cindy Gilman's son. So listen, participate, be inspired, know that you can discover your potential. Here he is, Dan Gilman. In 2006, Rhonda Burns' The Secret turned the world upside down. People from all over the world were learning about the law of attraction and how your thoughts could literally change your physical reality. Before The Secret's worldwide success, there were others in the self-help space who seemed to have paved the way to Rhonda Burns' accomplishments. Many would call them the pioneers of personal development. Among those are well-known authors and speakers, such as Bob Proctor, Proctor did seminars all over the world and helped thousands of people achieve what they previously thought was impossible. He was the student of Earl Nightingale, the author of the short but powerful work, The Strangest Secret. Perhaps you've heard the audio. And before Nightingale, there was his mentor, the great-grandfather of personal success, Napoleon Hill. His work in The Law of Success and Think and Grow Rich was worth its weight in gold coming out of the Great Depression. All of these works have been extremely successful, but where did these self-help giants get their inspiration? Could it be that the very concepts and teachings talked about in these massively successful books and by the people who wrote them came from another book written over 100 years ago? In an interview discussing her success with the blockbuster hit The Secret, Rhonda Byrne talks about a time when her father had recently died. Her daughter was very ill, and she had accumulated over $2 million in debt. She was having an emotional breakdown. Then, her adult daughter brought her an old photocopied book, stating simply, read this, it'll make you feel better. The book had been written nearly 100 years prior for poor people by a man who grew up in poverty in the late 1800s as a farmer in McHenry County, Illinois. Little did she know that in less than 90 minutes, she would find the keys that would turn her entire life around. What was this mysterious book that would pave the way to nearly all modern success philosophies? And who was the man that wrote it? Why do the legends of personal achievement philosophies all seem to be talking about the same thing, but saying it in a different way? The master key, they called it. The strangest secret. And then simply, the secret. What is this mysterious practice they all speak of that can almost instantaneously change your life forever? There is a science of getting rich. It is an exact science. Like algebra or arithmetic, there are certain laws which govern the process of acquiring riches. Once a person learns to obey these laws, they will get rich with mathematical certainty. There is a thinking stuff from which all things are made, and which, in its original state, permeates, penetrates, and fills the inner spaces of the universe. A thought in this substance produces the thing that is imagined by the thought. A person can form things in their thought, and, by impressing their thought upon formless substance, can cause the thing they think about to be created. You must get rid of the thought of competition. You are to create not to compete for what is already created. Guard your speech. Never speak of yourself, your affairs, or of anything else in a discouraged or discouraging way. Close your ears to all adverse suggestions. Never mind if people call you a fool and a dreamer. Dream on. A thought form held in thinking substance is a reality. It's a real thing, whether it has yet become visible to the mortal eye or not. So who was this obscure man that inspired the personal achievement giants of the world? And what was the name of his book? Allow me to introduce you to a man, practically hidden for a century, who through this book would pave the way to nearly all modern success philosophies. Wallace D. Waddles is his name, and his mysterious book, The Science of Getting Rich, will remain hidden no more. Now, revisited over 100 years later, MYB Publishing brings you a new, special universal edition of what could be called the greatest success book ever written, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. This book holds within its pages the secret foundations of how anyone, no matter their circumstances, can achieve a happy and rich life. 
by closely adhering to the principles outlined in this best-selling classic, you can finally ensure your own success, wealth, and happiness without feeling the need to compete with anyone or anything. We become creators by aligning ourselves with natural laws and working as one with the universal mind. In The Secret, Rhonda Byrne wrote of an old book that changed her life forever. This is that book, and it can change your life too. Get your copy of the new special Universal Edition today. The very best thing you can do for the world is make the most of yourself. Welcome to Discover Your Potential. I'm your host, Dan Gilman, and today we have two extraordinary guests. And I want to introduce my special guests, Lena and Jay Nolan. Jay Nolan is an accomplished entrepreneur and coach who has dedicated his life to helping others become successful in life and grow their business. Over the years, he has trained hundreds of thousands of people worldwide to develop supreme confidence and self-esteem. As a former professional baseball player, he naturally injects extreme discipline and focus, leading his clients to their success. Lena Noland is a powerhouse Latina. She was born and raised in Colombia. She is an amazing entrepreneur and is passionate about helping others. With the trajectory of her successful father, she has been involved in business since she was very young and went to one of the best private universities in Colombia where she received her business administration and marketing degree. Now with her knowledge and experience, she is passionately involved in the businesses she owns with her husband, Jay Noland. She supports all the family businesses because of her love for enterprise, but especially because everything they do is focused on helping others. I wanna welcome you both. I'm so honored uh, you could join us today. And I wanted to be the first to ask both of you Going back through your past, what was your upbringing like? What was your home life like as a child? I love to let my wife answer that first. Queens first. Go ahead, my queen. Well, as a Colombian Latina, I'm from Colombia, born and raised in Colombia. I grew up in, you know, my parents uh, working really hard. So even though they came from a, you know, small family and, well, poor family. My grandmother on my dad's side, she was a maid and uh, she came into town really early in her age. And, you know, my dad worked really hard to pay his university and go to college and take, you know, take care of my grandma. So always seeing my parents working really hard. My dad started a business when I was really a baby. And since then, I've just been into the entrepreneur life, seeing my dad and that his example of, you know, putting businesses together. And since then, he got he has a company that's still running one of one of the biggest companies in, in Colombia uh, in the marketing area area. So I love that. I grew up with a lot of love, um, you know, always some challenges like in every uh, family. But my mom and my dad, and especially my grandmother on my dad's side, they just bring all the love. So it was a very lovely family. Uh, have to go through different challenges in the childhood, but you know the positivity was always around. So that was kind of like a, my upbringing, up, upcoming uh, in life. So that's pretty much where I, you know how we, I grew up. My sister, uh, we we're seven years apart. We love each other. Uh, she's younger than me and, you know, went to the university, went to college and did business and administration and marketing and always helping my dad running the businesses and then growing up, just meeting more people, and more people. So that's how I, I came into this life. Oh, that's great. Uh, Jay, did you also, I just wanted to include you as well. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, to hear that story, I know, you know, Lena's parents, just phenomenal people, and they did a great job raising their daughter. Uh, but, you know, I grew up as a country boy, hog farm, Winchester, Kentucky. The farm was out in Trap, Kentucky. I ask people all the time, have you ever heard of Trap, Kentucky? And people are like, no, I, you know, they get trapped up trying to figure out where the heck that is. But I grew up on a hog farm, and thinking about, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit, 
Uh, my granddad worked a job, but he had his farm and we, we would take animals to the market. And he'd always let me pick out uh, a girl pig, a little baby pig. So mm -hmm. as I was growing up, as long as I was helping on the farm, he said, you pick you out a little sow, called it. So I picked me out a girl pig and I'd say, why can't I pick out the boy pig? He goes, no, no, no. You want to pick out the sow because one day she can have babies and now you begin to duplicate and you can make more money because I'll let you take them to the market. And, and this, Dan, really stood out to me because it, it progressed and here goes a year or so and all of a sudden the, the, the pig is pregnant, has, has babies. He says, now keep one of the babies back so you've got the mother and then you keep another sow back, but we'll take the rest of the pigs to the market. And I can remember the first time I, my, my pig had like nine or 10 pigs and so we took like seven or eight to the market and then they they bid it on the on the on the little pigs and then this money came back and it was enough money to buy all my school clothes for that year. So that really set in me the power of making profit, you know. And so uh, that kind of that sparked me early early on. But I grew up again from a farm on a farm from Kentucky and was able to have an opportunity, believe it or not to play professional baseball. So people say, how did you come from a farm to professional baseball? Well, my dad loved softball and always was taking me to batting cages and keeping me around the ball field. And I kind of took a liking to it. So when I got into school, I got pretty good at it and I started excelling at it. And then I got drafted by the San Diego Padres all the way back in 1988. And I ended up playing six years professional with the Padres, Rockies, Mariners. And then uh, from there, got into the business world and uh, started uh, spreading all over the earth, you know, doing business now in over 90 countries in my career. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I was going to ask you about your career in baseball and how that impacted your life. I know you had a, an injury. Yeah. Um, and how you transitioned there. But I'd love to, I'd love to hear more about that. But I know you've just published an incredible book. Yeah. And I wanted to also segue into that. There's just so much that I want to cover. And I know we only have a, a, a short amount of time with you both. But you just both of your stories are so extraordinary. And I'd love to hear more about your stories, also your book. Yeah. Uh, and I know others would love to hear about your book. I, I have a digital copy of it. I didn't get the hard Oh, you've got the hard copy of it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get you one of these over right away. You know, my wife, Dan is just an expert now at publishing. So we have a publishing company, MYB Publishing. People say, what's MYB stand for? Make you better. So MYB Publishing is our publishing company. And my wife run, pretty much runs the head of that and the, the graphic design and running with our wow. with the marketing team. Uh, but the, you know, I'll let her talk a little bit about the project coming together. And so Lena, you know, how, how are you feeling about the project with the book? I'm so honored to, you know, for us to be able to do this. Uh, when Jay came up with the book, you know, he came to me back in August 2021st and said, I'm reading this book. You have to read it. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he tells me this story when he saw a video uh, interview from Rhonda Burns and how much that book impacted her life and made herself actually create the secret, the movie, the secret and, and come out with, you know, coming out of where she was at that point. So I'm like, well, we definitely have to read this book. So we start reading the book. We both get into the book and, and he says, you know what, this book needs to be edited. There's things that need to change for this new, uh, you know, age from this new mo more modern and also, uh, he's always thinking about inclusive and making united, you know, uh, men and women being, you know, together in the same level of like having the same opportunities in life, right? You know, even though we both are different uh, people and we have our differences, we both need that same opportunity. So he said this book was wrote in 1910. So it was wrote at the, at the same time type that it was writing before it was more male focused so what he did he edited this book uh to make it more inclusive inclusive for women and then uh i just put my heart on it because i knew how much that book 
will change people's life. So what we did with the um, uh, paper copy is that we add into this several pages where people are going to be able to write on it what they're learning from and like being able to apply it. And we just make it in the specific color of the, pa of the paper that needs to be in order for the brain to actually accept it better. So we kind of like put not just only the words that was going to make it easier for, pe for people to read it, but also we tap into that subconscious mind that that's where is uh, Jay's expertise in our companies and apply it into the book to make sure those words go through, you know, through, through life and really impacting others. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's it's, it's, the, the, the psychology in a book that yeah. has a psychological effect to it that we put into the book. It really helps it drive home Dan. Yes. That sounds wonderful. And did you, did you also speak to Rhonda Byrne at all or did Never, you? Never. I, you know, I spoke to her in spirit because you can oh. feel somebody's energy. You know, I was a math major and a massive student of Thinking Grow Rich by Napoleon mm. Hill. Yes. And so um, I'm, I'm blessed because I'm one of only three people in the world to have a co-branded Thinking Grow Rich, which is sanctioned by the, the, the Napoleon Hill Foundation. Wow. And um, I got that back in 2009. So since 1995, when I first heard about Think and Grow Rich, I really didn't pay attention to any other books. People ask me all the time, how many books you read? What books you recommend? I go, I don't need a bunch of books. I just need this one book. And it was Think and Grow Rich. But yeah. when Rhonda Burns said what she said, and it was just last year. So you're talking about 25, 26 years I've been involved in personal growth. Right. When Rhonda Burns shared that that book helped her, you know, she, she was $2 million in debt. She just lost a parent. She was having a, a, an emotional breakdown. And she says in 90 minutes, it changed her life. And like Lena said, inspired her to create the secret. It did something to me to where I said, I'm going to go read this book. Yes. And Lena didn't even really know what I was doing. You know, I just was off in my world. And I read it. And after two pages, I mean, two chapters, I'm sorry. After two chapters, I knew I had to read the book to teach the book. After four chapters, I knew that I had to edit the book to make it even more teachable and utilize our publishing company, that leverage, to get this message out to the world. So that's when I went to Lena. I said, Lena, you got to read this book. This book is what Rhonda Byrne said. It's like, for real, it will change your life. It's not even going to take you to the end of the book. I believe people's lives will change in the first few chapters. That's what I've been hearing over and over and over. And so like Lena said, we want to make it more inclusive. We did not want women to have to read when a man does this. And if a man would do that, which is the language of that time, right? meaning they wanted to be inclusive. Speaking of man as in mankind, I don't want women to have to deal with that. I want women to deal with when a person or when people, they, them. And so throughout this entire book, we removed all the masculine talk and we made it universal to make That's it easier. Good. It's the only one in the world like that, Dan. 1910, everybody do a little timeline. 1910, 1937. You got a 27-year span before Think and Grow Rich ever came out. And if you study Think and Grow Rich, and you've never read The Science of Getting Rich, you might come to the conclusions that I came to. I believe that Dr. Napoleon Hill got some of his core concepts from The Science of Getting Rich. That's just my opinion. Yeah. It's a very educated opinion, but I believe he did. So you're going to be able to see the foundations here, but what's going to shock you is even though it's 27 years before, the English is easier in the way he wrote it. It's easy to understand. Wouldn't you agree, Lena? Yes, and I think it's because the way uh, Waters the Waddles did this, and his influence was really big because he was part of, he was one of the main wrote, uh, writers in the main magazine at that point uh, mm -hmm. for the new top leaders. That was the magazine of Natilius. So he was the main writer there. So he had a lot of impact in the world. But I think because he was in that magazine, that was uh, that was something that a lot of people from any kind of level was purchasing 
So he needed, he was always writing in an easy way. So yeah. he wrote this book also to teach the miners, the coal miners and the poor people and the farmers that was around him in order to make them make them understand what how they could get a better life, not just uh, financially, but having a better wealth, a better health, and that inclusive uh, of all the holy that he always talks in his in his writings. Thought is everything, you know. You know, Wallace De Waddles teaches teaches that humans are thinking centers. Yes, we are creators of thought, yeah. and what he encourages us to do is tap into our ability to have original thought. A thought that's never been before because of what happened in the beginning. So Wallace D. Waddles, his whole premise is that everything comes from one source, a monistic viewpoint, that everything. So, you know, the microphone, the, this chair, uh, this computer, the everything, the Internet, you know, this technology is all a part of one distinct original energy. He calls it the formless substance. He calls it thinking stuff. Infinite intelligence is what Napoleon Hill talked about. But he goes in to say that same thinking stuff is inside of you yeah. and wants you to think. And, I, and I'm reading the, the new version that you've made, the expanded version, the update. That's really quite extraordinary. So I'm looking forward to using that and putting that to practice. But I know you also have, you have a mastermind or a group actually that you've created based on this as well. And I'd love to hear more about that and how people can really engage with you. And um, I, I highly recommend getting this book as soon as it came out. I actually signed up because I, I, I'm, I'm just so excited you know, to, to be a part of that and to learn as much as possible. Cause that's, yeah, and, just... I, and, I, and I give all that credit for the launch of the book to my wife, Lena. I've watched her. But sometimes I'm in the bed and I look over, it's like two o'clock in the morning and she's over. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm working, <laughs> I'm working with this. You know, we got things happening over in London. We got stuff happening in India. And I'm like, huh? And she's like, I'm telling you, man. So I watched her yeah. get, I mean, Lena, you saw it. I'll, I'll talk about our master courses and things that we're doing but lena like what got you what my wife you know this is a husband and wife having a conversation and dan our, our brother here you look up and you see your, your woman you know and and, and or your man if, you know if you see your partner all excited about something you're excited about it makes us even more excited why did you get so excited lena? I just think it was something so easy because, you know, we're talking about other books. We're talking about Thinking of Rich. You know, there's other books that I have wrote, uh, read in the past for personal growth. But this book was so easy to understand. And it was like a step by step. And then it was just, I, I, don't, I don't know. It, it just hit me in my soul that I knew others could do the same thing. So if we will do this the right way, I want it to be like, you know, like my personal project, like that, like that little baby project that you bring out and you make sure everything goes the way you want it. So that's how like I put my energy into this book because I know how much mean to my husband and I knew that he was really big into thinking of rich and he didn't want to you know he all he has a he did before uh, a course into the thinking of rich and 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 his trainings has been based on that and then see him so impacted by this book and then me reading it and seeing how much it could impact others we knew that we had to bring it first uh, a very accessible point to people like even right now the ebook is a 99 cents and even when it goes up to the regular price it's going to be only 4.95 the ebook and the print book is 8.95 so we make sure that we had this book at a point where anybody can get it and we know that the words that are in there anybody can apply them and get what they really want because whatever they think that's what they're going to do because it's not like we are guaranteeing that people are going to be anything, but whatever you put in your brain, if you're reading that book, you can achieve it. So that's, that's what we did with that. That's what I really like, Dan, is that I watched my wife 
make it a personal project, not not just the promotion and the marketing. Yeah. She's involved in the entire design, uh, the, the, the text. When you feel this book, you got to get yourself a physical. When you feel yeah, it, can't it's going to feel like money. It's going to feel like breakthroughs. I mean, like, you can, like I'm telling you. Yeah. But I watched Lena make herself a project of the words that are in this book without me having to say much to her. And so I knew I was a project of the book. I want and and, and I needed it. Yeah, I, I really needed this book at the time that that it happened. I've been, you know, I've had a ton of success in my life, but the last couple of years, like for a lot of people, have been some extremely crazy challenging yes. years for me. Yeah, it's pulled me from. It's pulled me Dan to the furthest extent I've ever been pulled. Yeah. And I, I felt like, man, I, I, I know so much and I'm applying my training to keep my mind solid, yeah. but I needed something. And this book was that something and I got it. And I'm telling you, when he says in this book, the only time there is, is now. Yes. That's it for me. Yes. That means I don't have to worry about the past. I don't have to worry about the future. Like right here. I'm with Dan Gilman, an incredible person, a powerhouse show, discover your potential, your mom's legacy. I feel her legacy here now. I'm right here with what she had, I believe she intended for things like this book to come through this show. Yes. With my wife here together with us. This is awesome, man. And, but she never, she, the problem was she never asked for money. She never asked for money to do what she did. And she didn't get paid much doing it. But the one thing she always did was follow her purpose, which was to help people. And that, that was the mission of the show, was always to touch people's lives. And after she had passed, I had so many people that came to me, as I mentioned, uh, just saying, your mom changed my life significantly. And but I, but I bet anything, this book has changed so many people's lives. This the book that you have is extraordinary compared to any book that it's actually written. Even I mean, I love Napoleon Hill yeah. and I love Think and Grow Rich, yeah. but it goes beyond that. Like yeah. it just there's something apart that just is kind of mystifying. It's just incredible, extraordinary. For me to say that and agree with you on that is for anybody that knows my teachings, I've I've, I've done seminars in 20 or more countries. I know at least 20 around the world. Yeah. They estimate I've helped talk to train over a million people in the past 25 plus years. All I knew was thinking grow rich and I hold on to it. I hold it dear as such it's changed me. I yeah. love it, but I'm telling you the great great granddaddy of them all is the science of getting rich. If you get that down and 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 Wazdy Waddles is so bold. He says, you don't need any other book. He says, you're not going to need anything else. Like he's bold on it. And I'm yep. like, he's right. I'm, I'm with him on it, man. I, I, just, I don't think you need any other book. I think other books can help you, but you got to be careful. You don't get distracted so you can stay in the now. Uh, well, I think that is important for people to know that inside of the book, this book we also created is going to be a mini course inside of it. So there's um, a QR code inside of the book that will take people to this free 20 minutes mini course, but it will expand their mind even more of what, what the book is and how to apply the principles that is in there. That's great. And I see that you both have, you know, applied the principles. Yeah, I mean, not only do we apply the principles ourselves, we've, we've watched it literally impact our son. Yes. Because we've already also created the audio book. And now yeah. it's, 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 already, it's in the stages of being going through its uh, editing and making sure it, it, it meets our quality and all of our standards. We have, again, a whole production team that we, that we work with here. And so we were listening to the audio book in the car and we just noticed our son, who's always normally like watching cartoons and stuff on his little video in the back seat. He took all of his headphones and he was sitting there listening. Wow. Like, well, what'd you learn from that? And he go and he just starts 
saying the stuff. I mean, stuff that every parent, I know you want to hear your kids saying, yes. but you got to put them in that environment. And, and, yes. and there's, a, there's a way of these words in this book that I've noticed it even draws kids in. He was talking about like, oh, yes, we like I learned that you don't have to worry about what is going to happen in the future. <laughs> and I was like, OK, wow. that, was six year, that was a six year old that said that. Now, back to your question where you asked me about yes. our mentorship program. Yes. Sir. So this is a progression. I was led. Get the book edited. Like I've had so many other projects that we got, you know, with our publishing company, our production company. Our, you know, our sound technology company, we've got all these other projects. Oh, I'd love to hear more about that too. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got, you know, a technology company, it's it's a whole nutrition uh, company. Wow. And so all this stuff is going on. And then something kept saying, you must get up and work every day on editing this book. The rest of this stuff will fall into place. Nobody's going to get you unless you get the book out to the world. Mm. And so really for me to kind of like vibrate with the world, I want them to read this book so that we can vibrate on a higher level. I think humans have to raise consciously. Yes. And we can't get everybody because you understand how human beings are overall, but we can get several. My mission is to get a million people thinking in the certain way. That, that Wallace Waddles talks about. I want to personally be responsible for impacting a million people, whether directly or indirectly through our network. I'm like, how can I do that? Yes. Technology. Reach. Absolutely. So I'm like, well, how do we bottle this up? And as I kept talking and, 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 uh, and talking with the team about it, coming back and forth, we said, you know what? It'll come through mentorship. People need guidance, especially today more than ever. Yeah. I play professional sports. I think what the average person out there walking around needs to really get, the average fan that's cheering for your team, most everybody has a favorite team in something. Yes. Those people you're cheering for, they have coaches. They have mentors. They have discipline. So what you see when you look at someone that's a professional on the field, they became a professional not just because of their skill, yeah. Not because of the, their talent. They became a professional because they accepted good coaching. And so it's hard. To, who do you know that became great at something that wasn't influenced by somebody else? Oh, absolutely. I firmly that. believe in coaches. Absolutely. So we uh, created what's called XP Mentor. XP could be expert. It could be exponential. Right, it can be any XP thing you want, but we created xpmentor.com. xpmentor.com. I'm bringing on some curated mentors, higher level than just coaching. I'm talking about really people that are what I call lifers. Life has lifed on them, but they keep winning no matter what. That's the people you want to learn from. Somebody that hasn't been through much, well, it's going to be tough to learn a lot from them because life is going to throw big curveballs, no yes. pun intended, at a sometime or another. And typically multiple times, just like in a baseball game. You don't usually see one curve. You see multiple curves. Well, that's life. So xpmentor.com is a place that we made it to where anybody around the earth can join that and get some weekly mentorship, but then get 24 seven access to the library that begins to build. And right now we made it to where anybody and everybody can get in on it. We're talking about 28 bucks a month, $28 a month. Wow. But if you listen to me now, because we're on the discover your potential show, if you put in XP 20 capital X capital P 20 all together, and the discount code will knock off $20 a month oh. for the life. So you're locked in. There you go, XP20. You are locked in at $8 a month. That's it. You're talking about what, a quarter a day or so? Right. To be able to get right now, myself, I can hit you from multiple areas, all six pillars. I can train you on emotional, mental, 
physical, spiritual, social, financial. I can hit you from multiple angles. But we've also got Forbes Riley. She's now an XP, XP mentor. She just we just loaded two of her teams nice. on the platform right now. Wow. Off the chart. I was sitting there looking at them. I looked at it again this morning. I was like, dang, when people get this. I love Forbes Riley. Yeah. She comes in and teaches entrepreneur tips to get your mind thinking right. She's teaching you about how to properly pitch. Yeah. And so eight dollars a month, people can flood in. I got to so join. Limited, but for how, we're going to keep have X amount of people come in. I don't know how long I'm going to keep that going, right. but we just want to make it available to as many people as possible. Come in, and then we've got a skill shop inside of there. So say you want to take it to a whole new level. Yeah, you have access to people like Dan Pillar, the number one tax strategist and litigator in the country, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Wall Street Journal says so he's number one when it comes to taxes. So the number one business expense you have is taxes. Well, yes. talk to the number one dude. He's an XP mentor. We've got Aaron Hernandez. People are on social media. You want to know how to take great selfies? You want to understand photography? You want to understand branding? She's on there. we got Jackie Metzke. She's coming on the platform. Molson from Molson Pictures. You want to know how to get involved in Hollywood and film and editing? And it's going to be awesome, Dan. So wow, we're bringing our mentorship, and it's all founded on these principles in this book. That's incredible. So again, that's uh, xpmentor.com. And if they use the XP20 code, they can get $20. $20 off, off. per month. Oh, per month. Locked wow. in. That's a for deal. Life. For life. Wow. For, for life. life. Wow. Yeah, so these are all grandfather people in the beginning. We're saying your membership is $8 a month for the rest. Of, as long as you don't cancel whatever, you're locked in. Right. It'll be 28 and then it'll grow higher. Right. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to join. All right. I hope everybody else joins. <laughs> so that's can't great. Wait to see you on the inside. Yeah. I can't wait to be on the inside. That's incredible. So what, so people are going through so much right now. I think they're keep talking about a recession and, you know, people are struggling still, even after the pandemic, we've got a, a war happening right now, raging and, in Ukraine and people are struggling, you know, uh, inflation is, has gone up, but what can people do? And, and we talked about this, I guess they can one, obviously join xpmentor.com cause that's going to help them tremendously and read the book. But what do you, what do you recommend? Cause people are really struggling right now. And I do have some dear friends. I'm going to pass them over the, the website. It's going to be extraordinary because I know they would be extraordinary. Yeah, well, I'm going to give you some good stuff. Later, what do you got before I give you some juice? I want to hear some of my wife's Absolutely. She, you know, you all know what's going on right now, Lynn. I think that right now what people really need to do is apply the principle in this book because we all went through craziness the last two years. And still there's, you know, bags that are coming from those times People haven't been able to adapt to their new jobs, working at home. Kids haven't adjusted adjust either. The prices of everything are going all over. They're still uh, in the stores. You kind of find stuff. But I think that if you start thinking in the right way, the way that Wallace Duarte said, think what you really want to think, is like when you get mad, when you get upset, when you cannot find something, you don't want to have those feelings in you. That's not naturally from you. So yeah. you need to really focus on how you're thinking, how you're talking, because that's the most important thing. Sometimes we're thinking stuff and and, and, and we say, OK, we're going to stay positive. But we go and talk to somebody else and we catch ourselves complaining about things or saying the things that we don't want to happen, but we're saying them. So I think we have to watch our mouth and say, be, be careful with what we're talking to people. Uh, and start attracting what we really want in our life and stay positive and don't worry for what is coming in the future and don't worry what the government and somebody else can give you. Just make sure you're being yourself and you actually put in all, this, um, all these techniques and all these philosophies into yourself and being able to spread outside. Once you change from yourself, once you are a different person, everything else is going to start working out and things are going to get better, no matter what is happening in the outside of your world. 
Powerful words from my wife. You know, one thing I want to share with you is I want to take you back uh, to 2007, 2008. Many of you can remember or you've heard about the major housing market crash of 2008. Well, at that time, I had a mortgage business and it just got devastated in 2008. Let me help y'all understand that it's unlimited at every moment. It's never, ever too dim. It's never, ever over. Forbes Riley said something this morning in her training. She says, this, unless somebody's not breathing for 20 straight minutes, she's going to keep helping and supporting and, and, and encouraging. And I'm like, I love that because that's true. So with all this stuff going on now, they're talking about heading into a recession. The Fed raised interest rates higher than they've done since 1994. It at one time of a hike. And they're talking about all these things that are going around the world, like these wars that are happening and people are being impacted. But for you, in your world, I want to speak to you about when all these things hit, 2007, 2008, I co-founded a company. And I, I haven't felt the way I feel now since then. So we're talking about, what, 14 years ago? I got the same energy now. And I started going out and telling people about greatness is here. Breakthroughs are available. While everybody's panicking, don't panic. Stay strong. If you want to know how to bust through anything, just be strong and then build other strong people. And we went out, and that little company I started from my kitchen table in 2008, when everything was falling down around the world, we go out in our first full year in 2009, and we do $16 million in sales. The next year, we did around $44 million. The next year, we did around $116 million. The next year, we did about $400 million. So we created a wave of momentum, record-breaking in, in our industry throughout the world in a shorter period of time. When did we do it? When everything was crashing down. You want to know how? Because the way I thought and the way I was able to convey to get other people to think. And I want that same thing to happen for you right now. And I got a more powerful tool with this book, The Science of Getting Rich, that I'm going to be able to help people with. I know I will. And people like Dan with his skills and his talents and this platform, this is bringing help to all kinds of people. We really thank you for this, Dan. Well, I want to thank you. And I also, for my listeners, I'm going to purchase, uh, I've done this before, but I'm going to purchase 10 books of the books and I'm going to give them to 10 of our listeners or more. We'll see how, what I can do, but I want to, I want to, bestow them, you know, the gifts that I've actually been given as well. So there's a lot of people out there that need it and need that support. And I'd love to help them because that's exactly what my mother would have done. No matter what. I mean, she she didn't make anything on the show. She just from her own self, her own selflessness. Uh, and she was passionate about helping other people. So I want to gift that to at least 10 of our viewers. So if you reach out to Cindy at CindyGilman.com, you can and say you would like this book. Uh, I will, you know, purchase it and gift it. I'm I'm assuming the hardcover is out now, it's so out. I can so the I can purchase it through Amazon. Paperback is right now on Amazon, right, babe? If you go Perfect. to GetSLDR.com, can they get there from there, Lee? Uh, they can go to get, uh, yeah, get sogr.com and both of the links are there and whatever you decided to do then we're going to match that number too oh wow thank you that would be so, wonderful so we dan's doing do 10 together. books and then we're going to send another 10 books to dan to your listeners so there's oh, there 20 people that can get in on dan's offer right now that would be great that that's truly wonderful i truly appreciate that so uh, thank you both for being here. I hope I can have you back again yeah. because I would absolutely love to talk about your other initiatives that you're doing. I know you're you're always busy and doing other things too. And I wanted to incorporate both of you in this communication. You're both amazing people. And, and thank you so much for being here. 
Thank you, Dan. Thank, Thank you, you, Dan. Thank you so much, brother. This is Cindy Gilman, and you're listening to Discover Your Potential. So until next time, do something nice for yourself, but do something nice for someone else. <laughs> Yeah.